Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda J. Hey y'all. Happy Thursday, babe. Today is Thursday. Um, I am off today. I am headed right now to the gym. Not to work out. Not yet, girl. I'm going to actually measure myself. I haven't uh, weighed myself in so long. It's probably since my HIV appointment. And it's been over a month now, so I actually want to go ahead and weigh myself and see, you know, did I lose weight? Did I gain weight? You know, stuff like that. Um, I do want to talk about some things before, you know, we get pretty much the day started once I get out the car. But I do want to talk about how um, we got to start, when God tells us to do something, we got to start doing it. So God told me to fast um, last week. And I heard him when he said fast. I had the urge to fast. I felt the fast. I, I felt everything about it, even the dreams that God was trying to show me. And I did not do the fast. I didn't do it. Um, I didn't want to. I was lazy about it. I didn't know if I could, you know, and, and it's a Pacific um, I haven't even looked it up. The fast that he wanted me to go um, go on is fruits and vegetables. That's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to go on a fruits and vegetable fast. And when he first told me that, I ignored him. Second time, I ignored him. The third time, I ignored him. God gave me a dream. The dream he gave me came to pass. When I tell you God was trying to prepare me for what was about to happen. And I did not take what he told me serious. It could have cost me a lot. Things could have went different. And I learned my lesson and I know to never do it again never ignore God when he tells me to do something. So, on that note, I'm here to encourage you to never ignore God. When God tells you to do something, do it, baby. It doesn't matter. Listen, let me tell you something. If the urge is strong to do something that's positive, do it. That's God telling you to do it. God has been telling me to fast. And I did not take it serious. And that cost me a lot. And it could have cost me more. It could have cost me my freedom. It could have cost a lot. A lot more than what it did. So I'm just grateful that God gave me a chance and he cleaned it up for me. But things could have been so much different if I would have been obedient to God. Um, so I just want to tell God, thank you for giving me another chance. Because things could have took the turn for the worse. Anything could have happened. But um, I just wanted to share that testimony and to help somebody. I don't know if somebody, if God is telling you to do something and you're scared to do it or you're, you're trying to talk yourself out of it, do it, baby. It's a reason why he's telling you to do it. But anyways, y'all, um, I'm almost to where I need to go. So anyway, so I'm about to go to the gym real quick and weigh myself. And then once we leave that, we're going to go get us some coffee because the girl don't have no energy at all and I have so much stuff that I need to get done. I do want to go to Home Depot because I wanted to get some paint for the girls room. Not just the girls room, the living room too because the furniture comes tomorrow. So I want to make sure that um, we have everything together. So um, instead of doing a room pink, I might just um, color it back to the original color and that's the gray. But I just, I want to do pink room. Like, I want to do that room pink. Everything pink, pink this, pink that, everything pink, girl. I'm so serious. But I do have my mask and um, hand sanitizer with me because COVID is out, babes. And make sure y'all are being safe. You know what I'm saying? People are sick and they come out the door. And I don't want none of you guys to get sick because people are selfish. Um... And then at the same time, sometimes people don't have a choice but to work even while they're sick. Mask up. Well, that didn't work out. 
So apparently my gym doesn't have a scale because they have this no judgment free zone, which I think is stupid because if I'm paying for a gym, I want to be able to weigh myself sometimes. That just pissed me off, girl. First of all, it's too hot to be making blank stops, okay? So let's go get some coffee. Um, I went to go get some coffee and then we're gonna head to Depot. Home Depot, she was like, oh, Bailey's have one. Girl, I paid for this gym. If I wanted to go to Bailey's, I could have just went to Bailey's, but I paid here. My money here is 90 degrees. I hope my um, phone will get overheated but it's 90 degrees. It's hot as hell. Ugh. I don't hit nobody. This is just like coming. Like, they don't stop. <laughs> Girl, when you feel like, okay, all right, I ain't got to worry about no bills. Girl, bye. Still got bills. Bills, 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 bills. That's that's all you, you like now nowadays all we do is bills. That's all we got is bills. Huh. But I'm grateful that I'm able to pay my bills. Okay. Okay. But yo girl, that kind of made me mad though for real because I wanted to weigh myself. Like I really wanted to weigh myself. Um to see how far I came, but I guess not. Um, I'm gonna get the same thing I normally get. I'm just getting the coffee. I'm not getting nothing else. The baby. One thing about Elena, oh, they overpriced. Hi. Can I get the caramel? Um. I gotta call my husband. I don't know what I get. <laughs> Hey, what I normally get from Ellen Ayos? It's a caramel frappuccino. That's it? Hold on, hold on, I'm trying to know what it's called. Because the one you normally get, I think it got ice cream on it. Ice cream? Yep. Yeah. What kind of mess is this? It's the other shit, but she can kill it in I was, I thought it was a healthy um, drink. Can I get a caramel frappuccino? A small. Yes, please. I'm just gonna get a frappuccino. I don't want nothing with ice cream in it. All right, babe. That no. Oh, girl, why all of a sudden I'm at the coffee shop now? I'm hungry. Cut it out. So I just got me a regular caramel frappuccino, child. I'm about to go to Home Depot. And we're gonna see some paint and stuff. Um, I don't really have nothing to talk about, so I'm not gonna just blah 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 like I normally do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait to see y'all. Oh, I wanna share my drink though. But if you don't, if you've never been to the Illinois and you live in Jacksonville, Florida, baby, you is missing out. When I say better than Starbucks, when I say better than Donkey Donuts, baby, go to the Illinois. I promise you, you will not regret it. It's so freaking good. So good, so good, so good, so good. I do need to go hygiene shopping, but I actually want to make that another video by itself. Okay. You too. Let me take a thumbnail. I'm sorry. Let's head to Home Depot. I don't, uh oh. I don't even know what a Home Depot is, so let's look it up. I kind of want to go. I don't. I don't necessarily go to Home Goods. I feel like Home Goods is very over. What's the word? Oh, it's expensive. It's just overrated, and they just up price because it's Home Goods. Let me look for a Home Depot. It's a. It's a low. Low sale. I want the low sale too. I'm gonna see which one is um, closer. First of all, I don't even feel comfortable going home deep with myself as a woman. Hello.
pretty, y'all. This is so pretty, but $300? No, ma'am. What is this? A chair accent? Oh, this. Oh, this is. Girl, how did I thought? Where did we get out of this place? How much is this? Girl, $40? For this? Girl. Let me get up behind the rolls. Rolls me, please. This is so pretty, y'all. This is so pretty, but $300? No, ma'am. What is this? A chair accent? Oh, this. Oh, this is. Girl, how did you know about We're gonna get out of this place. Hey, y'all. Um. But I ain't used to this, okay? I'm not used to. Um. Putting my own stuff in the car. Okay? I'm used to my husband putting everything in the car and I just get in the car. I ain't used to this, baby. But, um, I spent more than what I was planning on to, so <coughs> my my budget for coming out the house today was actually $50. But I ended up spending more than that. So, um, I got two things of paint. I ended up, instead of going with one paint, I got two. I got purple and pink. Um... And then um, I had saw a fan, um, and I was like, okay, the girls' room don't circulate a lot of air like it should, so we're waiting on the air people to come now, which the electric people came, because I don't know if I ever told y'all, but the girls' room, um, the girls' room, it wasn't working. Like, the light switch, the electric, the plug-ins, nothing worked. And I, um, when we first moved in, y'all, it never worked. So... I don't know if I ever shared that with y'all before, but yeah, it had never worked. So the electric people came um, and fixed that. So I expected the air conditioning people to come today as well or yesterday, but no, they didn't come. So I don't know when they're coming, but I know they're coming because the electric man came and he fixed it. Um, I couldn't find out it was a wire issue in my home. Uh, I think I just missed my turn and I put the Brenda. I was at the right. Oh shit, I got my seatbelt on, girl. I'm tripping. What is going on today? But, um, I feel like I was there for hours. That's what it felt like. So I had, I picked up this rug, y'all, but it was end up being $12. I thought it was seven, and it was 12, so I put that back. I y'all probably like, girls, only a few dollars. Yeah, but when I put my mind on something, or if I say, okay, this is $7, I'm gonna sacrifice seven dollars, but when it's not that price, that means it's not. I don't need it. So, and I'm not working on my patio today. So, um, which I'm not gonna. I probably nine out of ten. I'm not gonna work on the girls' room today um, because day furniture don't come. My room furniture and the living room furniture comes today. The girls' room, I have to still order their bed and stuff. They still have their mattress and stuff like that. I just have to order their new bed. And some other things on Amazon that I want to get for their room. I was supposed to turn and I missed it. Don't know what I was thinking about. And I gotta get this long busy line. I just know I'm not gonna be able to get everything done in one day i just know i can't i want to repaint my living room walls which i feel like that's the first paint i should do but knowing me i feel like i'm gonna be so focused on the girls room that i'm not gonna really focus on my room for real i just know i'm not because i'm gonna be eager to do the girls room when it comes down to my kids i always put my kids before me <clears throat> and i just don't feel comfortable um, not doing their room first and then me and my husband living our best lives in our room and our beds and stuff like that so I know it's just the mom it's called mommy guilt I don't I don't know what else to say it's just my you come on baby so I can get over Goodness. I'll see y'all I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to the grocery store now and pick up something for dinner 
Um, but I, apparently I don't have a choice. That's why I don't like coming out by myself because when I get tired and I don't want to go any more stores, honey, because Lowe's took a lot out of me, okay? So I'm just gonna go. I really wanted to go to Harvey's because the hair store is right there. I did Bella hair last night. I just have to add the hebos. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Winn Dixie and um, pick out something for dinner and get some juice or something for the house. We're getting food stamps Saturday, so y'all yeah, will see a food stamp haul. I'm gonna do a no whole video by itself. But um, I'm trying to figure out do I wanna carry this vlog over to tomorrow? because I do have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow and then y'all can get like an hour long vlog or do I wanna end this vlog once I get home. But we'll see, Chad. We'll see. So tomorrow I have to go to um, my psychiatrist uh, appointment. Was that my psychiatrist appointment? No. It's the, it's my, um, what it's called my counselor i go i go see my counselor i never had ever since i've been hiv positive y'all i have never had a counselor so i'm just grateful that i finally have a counselor um so i'm going to be meeting with my counselor tomorrow morning i'm super excited about that because she's she's my source to whatever i need done or whatever i need to do she's my source she's so one to help source out anything anything like i'm going to find out every resource we have I want to know about it. I want to know because I want to be able to take advantage of the fact that I am HIV positive and what can my family benefit from me being HIV positive. Sometimes like people are like, girl, you crazy. Why you want to, no, no, baby, I'm HIV positive. I can't change that, okay? He did this to me. So if I can get resources to better my family, if I can get resources to help my family in finances, um, um, my job, my career, my children, school clothes, school shoes, food, baby, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because it's resources for HIV and AIDS people, and apparently I have HIV, so. I'm going to get everything that belongs to me. I'm gonna go all out for it. Um, but I do need to go home and um, pick, not pick up. I need to sign these documents over. I can't talk about it yet. I don't wanna talk about it yet. I'm just gonna pop out with it. But I gotta sign these documents, legal stuff, child. All this legal stuff we gotta do. We gotta read over it. I gotta give it to my lawyer. But this is gonna be big. I text my family. I say, hey, this is the date that we're gonna be doing this. I need y'all on point. Everybody hair done, nails done. Be ready to talk. Blah, blah, blah. I'm super excited. I'm definitely grateful for the opportunity for me and my family. And I pray that this open doors for me. And my, I pray that this open more doors for me and my family. But yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. Everybody hair, everybody hair be done. So I got one more head to do, and that's Liz. Girl, that's that job that be trying to get me. I'm, I, I talked to him yesterday. I'm gonna make sure I do everything, because I'm gonna get with him. But, um, yeah, y'all. So, oh, I gotta hurry up, because it's gonna rain. I'll see y'all in the store. So, my husband told me that the only reason why he haven't barbecued again is because, let me wipe y'all off, shit is hot. It's because um, he doesn't have any charcoal. So, I got some, let's see what his excuse. Even though he, um, he have to work tonight. So, I don't know how that's gonna work, but, Hopefully he do it tomorrow early before he go to work because he work at six. So I'm still just gonna bring it. So when he get when he come when he takes stuff out the car, he gonna know what time it is. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get some chicken wings. I don't know yet, but let's see. It's over here. The girls actually bring them a snack why not bring fruit home for these fruit for these little things 
they be expensive try for real i do want some fruit though i'm gonna do it to five i'm get watermelon and cantaloupe is this cantaloupe y'all i don't know this would look a little funny is this cantaloupe i don't know what it's called okay it's hot let's heck oh these 75 cents let me get strawberry this girl I remember these was two for a dollar i'm getting two punch we trying not to buy sodas in the house so getting these little sodas i'm gonna get black cherry soda the girl said it was my baby daddy scared the out of me okay thank you huh i'm sorry my man my husband i'm not talking to my husband i'm recording myself yeah I do have a husband, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. That lets me know, baby. Married? No, I'm still fine. <laughs> Should I get bread? Should I get bread? Hey y'all, so I'm in the car. Why, why I ain't crank up the car yet? Try. I had to call my husband on the phone and try because you know I don't play that. Uh, that man stuff, you know what I'm saying? But this lady, I felt so bad because I know how I be feeling sometimes. But this man wants to slap sh out of her husband because he kept looking at me, and I'm just like, bro, like y'all men are disrespectful. And I'm pretty sure my husband be looking at other women too when I ain't looking either. He a man, so he gonna look. But you got some women who are insecure um, about themselves and their bodies. But I mean. He don't know what I look like on a daily basis. I like crackhead on a daily basis, honey. But it's it's me having this bodysuit on. I'm pretty sure that's showing my curves. So this bodysuit I have on is from Shein, and then I got this dress from Rainbow. Yeah, you know Rainbow dresses slits to be on the side, me high rise. Yeah, it's one of those situations. But by me having um, this bodysuit on, Lord, I just allow me to get home safely in the name of Jesus. God, please let me get home before it rains. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so because I have on this bodysuit, my curves show. Like, my breast sitting up the way it's supposed to be. Um, I always had a shape, so I'm just, you know, a little heavy set, you know, in the, in the wrong places. But when I put on the proper wear for my body, like the proper body suit, the proper um, things to hold your stomach in and stuff like that, you can see your girl got a shape. I always had a shape since I was a little girl. And that's why um, with my girls, I'm very different about, I don't let my girls wear shorts and stuff because they are shaped like me and their children. And men, you got these sick men out here who doesn't care that they're children. So, um, Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever they're going to do to protect whoever in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Um, yeah, it was thundering bad. Lights going off, so it's probably some accidents and stuff. But, um, what I was talking about? Oh, so you got some sick men out here in this world, and my girls are shaped like me, even though they're children. And I was shaped very young. And um, it caused a lot of attention from grown men trying to get at me as a child because of my shape. So um, I'm very attentive about what I let my girls wear. 
<clears throat> so including Bella Bella's small but I know you know what I'm saying the frame that she have there are sick men I I grew up with sick men who doesn't care what age when um, I was thinking about my story one day and I was thinking about how old I was my daughter is about to be eight Lizzie is about to be eight and I'm looking at Lizzie how you know what I'm saying how small she is she's very attentive and she remembers everything and it just reminds me of the time that when <clears throat> I was getting molested I was her age and I'm just so I just thank God that my children are not getting molested my children doesn't know what that feels like because at their age I was getting my innocence taken and my girls can live you know what I'm saying uh, um, um, a life that they don't have to go through that and I thought honestly going oh, this is crazy part about it I really thought that it was not normal I thought it was normal I thought every black family every family does mommy and daddy molestation and all that other stuff I thought every family was like that girl no my husband have never been molested in his life his sisters ain't never been molested day in their life you get what I'm saying so it's like now I know okay it's not normal what I went through that was just a sick behind family and that's why i don't understand how these people be having their kids around these sick behind family members we grew up with like the stuff i be seeing i be like bro how you how you let this man around your kids when he did to us what is wrong with you but ain't none of my business i stay in my lane i said myself i keep my family protected i don't even go to programs I don't go to anti program. If you know quartet, you know quartet. I don't go to none of those programs. I don't do this so many sex in that program that should be registered. Honey, it's a lot of stuff happened to me I, that I grown up that I never spoke about. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to these church programs, that's why I personally don't go anymore because I have girls. And if I do go, I'm not taking my girls with me unless it's something family that my family got something going on. My mama don't got a saying or um, they got a program going. Other than that, I'm not going. I'm not definitely not breaking my girls because I got this one person in mind who even look at my daughters. Y'all gonna have to bail me out. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. You know how they say serial killer? Oh no, he's a serial molester. Seriously. Okay, so I do need to get over because my house is on this side. But I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get home because it is raining and it's thundering and raining. So I'll talk to y'all once I get home to show y'all what I got. Hopefully I do turn the camera back on because I have a problem with not doing that. Uh, so let me hurry up. Come on, baby, because I'm going back there. Okay, make this quick. Okay, that's the pizza for tonight's dinner. I got cereal for uh, breakfast tomorrow. I got a thing of juice. I got milk for tomorrow. I got another juice. Hey, babe. Got another juice. Um, oh, shoot. this one yours. You can take one in your room. I got fruit, this, and a watermelon. And I got some sodas. That's pretty much I got. Y'all, I didn't get much. And I got that chocolate oh, yeah. I was telling y'all about that baby's gonna be this weekend. But my camera's about to die. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye, y'all.